you know, that's what I told him in the locker room. I said, look, you guys, we were down nine, about 5.17 left. And uh, I said, you guys could have packed it in. You know, we could have gone through the motions and, you know, maybe lost by 10 or 13. And, uh, God, they came back. Uh, we ran some sets. They executed them. We got some rebounds. Um, they, they just, they paddled back. They did a nice job. And, uh, you know, we had the opportunity to tie it up. And we did, and that was an excellent rebound by Chin. She turned around, they got the ball inbounds. Lauren uh, got on the, the, I think on the point guard. And you know, it's just one of those plays. You know, you see it in NCAA tournament, you see it in March Madness. Um, we might be a deflection away of overtime and maybe a win. And the kid hit a great shot. And uh, I can't, I told him, I said, you guys losing sucks. It does, but I couldn't be prouder of them because of what they've done and how they've battled. And as long as I continue to get the effort and us as a staff from them, we're going to give it a go. We expect to win every game. We're going to prepare for every game. But uh, you know, it's, it's hard. It's hard for them. But I know that their spirit isn't broken. And I know their passion for the game, again, like I said, far exceeds any pressure. So we're going to continue to play. And, and we've got another game Sunday. She cramped up, and bless her heart. I mean, if anybody's ever had one of those, they hurt. Um, I was trying to beat her back in, but I couldn't do that. So, you know, Portia was a warrior tonight. You know, we ran a lot of four out. Uh, they were grabbing, pulling, throwing her down. Um, they're, they're a tough team, and, and uh, she scored and scored and scored and, and got herself in great position. So Portia was a warrior, but they all were. They really are. So Portia should be fine. A lot of fluids, a lot of rest. She should be fine. Yeah. Yeah, we you know, we ran a play called three that there was a down screen and put Porsche or puts uh, Jordan down there and Lauren got it to her for a layup. But that's just the biggest thing is we just gotta continue to do that stuff and give her reps in the game. Um, she's doing a nice job, but uh, you know, we still have a lot of kids who really don't have that experience and now we're putting them in situations where you guys hey now you gotta you got to score and score, and I think the progression right now is they're doing it. You know, Chin stepping up, Jordan Irks can step in. I will tell you this, and Jordan won't say this, but Jordan was about as sick as you can be today, um, and she really almost didn't play. Uh, now she'd pound me if she if I pulled her out, but that that kid couldn't have been any sicker. And I tried to give her a lot of rest early in the first half because I knew we needed her in the second. Um, but you're right. I think to continue to get her to post up get that ball inside, and, and if she just gets reps in a game, she'll be all right. How frustrating is it, you know, uh, when you look at the bench and you only have three players there, you know, trying to sub in and out? Yeah. To to well, I look at the bench, and then I look again, and then I look again, and after the third time, no one appears. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the kids that I did put in, I mean, there was three of them, they did well. You know, Maddie went in there and worked hard. Emily got an N1. It was a beautiful shot. Uh, you know, Lauren's really feeling good. That was a huge three by Lauren. Um, you know, and, and Caroline hit that big three to put it to two. So, you know, you just got to keep working them in and working them in. You got to li live with some of their mistakes. You got to keep encouraging them. Uh, I think that's the biggest thing. And I told them I'm not down on them. I am not down on them whatsoever. And I just, the, the biggest thing with, with situations like this is they can't get down on themselves. You know, we'll get healthy bodies and they'll get back. Diva and Nikki will be back at some point. Um, you know, it's tough to stomach now um, because you always say, what if, if we had, you know, one of those for Pepperdine, one of those for tonight, but we don't. And injuries are part of sports. So, you know, like I told them, get some rest. We'll have pretty light workout tomorrow, work on state, work on state Saturday, and they're coming here. And again, we're going to prepare them to win. Yeah, and you know, that was North Texas again, but you know, we know better. We know better than to tell people this team can't shoot because once you say that, then they start. You know, Cowling's a special player. Uh, she just really is. She's always been, even in high school. She's a special player now. She had a great game, and uh, that's what special players do for teams like that. Um, you know, they had some other players that stepped up and hit a couple threes, and I think who had hit at the end, Ramirez? Yeah, it was a DeAngelis. 
And you know, and DeAngelis has been around a long time. She played for a great high school. She played for a great club team. So it's not a shot that that kid just threw up and made. The kid's a nice player. Um, and Loyola Marymount, again, and, and I'd maybe not emphasize this enough, but they're a better team than 1-5, and, and they were a better team than 1-5 and five had. So, like I said, I mean, our kids are warriors. They really are. And, you know, I said it before, losing sucks, but I couldn't be any prouder of them. And we're going to continue to battle. Coach, you could see Michelle's total 38 from Carolyn Forrest. Would you like to see more scoring, you know, aggressiveness from the other players? Yeah, you know, and a lot of that, too, was me calling sets for those two specific. When we run four out and Porsche's in, we're looking to get it inside to her. Um, all the other kind of set plays like UCLA or five or three uh, or the three up where Caroline scores, we're looking to get it inside to her. Um, some of our other sets, we really didn't run much like motion or secondary. They were switching everything and it kind of came um, obsolete. So the other ones had some opportunities. Jamie had a little bit. She was... Uh, I think two for seven. So she, you know, she was a little bit off today, three rebounds. But uh, I'd like to see Jamie get more in the mix. I'd like to see, you know, when Chin's in there, get more in the mix. Um, Jordan Erskine. So if we can get four or five players that are averaging five, six, seven points a game, then we got Caroline, Portia, you know, maybe Jamie step up a little bit. Um, but uh, a lot of it kind of depends on what we run. And, you know, motion gives a, a free reign to have everybody score some of the sets I called, and I, I credit them. You know, some of the sets we called, they executed well. They did a nice job, and they scored on them. And that's what you want to do as a coach. When you call timeout and run a play, and they score, it makes you look like a genius, but they're great players. They really are.